Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Double RT Boxing Show. We're ready, ready to talk the boxing show. I'm ready, you're ready. I'm the host of your show, Mr. A. Uh, catching up on the weekends. Hey, I'm a day early. Usually I do my catch-ups on Wednesday. Wednesday weekly roundups. Hey, it's Tuesday. Terrific day. Thank you for your time support. Thank you for supporting the show. Give a thumbs up. It is your show. Oh, man, we're a boxing rehab for us junkies, man. So, talking that cruiserweight talk, you know, not too many players who talk cruiserweight. So, you come in here, you got to be a nice boxing junkie. Thank you for being a junkie. Walking on into the boxing rehab at the Double RT Boxing Show. Signing at the front desk. My addiction, ring generalship. Now, Michael Sheslak beat the shit out of, uh, you already Denny? Denny? Uh, definitely, I say it was an okay stoppage. Um, you know, there's a comparison on the internet of that knockout in Jamal's Charlo knockout over John Jackson. No one argued about John Jackson getting stopped when he got cold cock stupid and slowly turned his back and walked over somewhere. Just like Yuri. Yuri got cold cock stupid, turned his back and just walked over to the corner. But it was just like we said, you know, just like we said in the breakdown. Yuri's hands are just too slow. He's too slow. And um, Macau not only does he have faster hands, Chef like just has faster combinations, faster speeds. And he saw that he saw that slow ass jab, check hook, checked him and right on the right on the sweet spot on the chin. First round stoppage. Like I said, I'm not surprised at all. He stopped him. I picked him to stop him. I didn't think it would be a first round, but. I, I said him. His hands, too, his jab's too slow. He's he's gonna get cold cock check hooked all day, you know. And then he's gonna be beating him to the stomach. He didn't even get a chance to show his great bolo uppercut to the stomach. Now, that being a final elim, not a final elim, but an IBF eliminator. It's it's a lot of. He's gonna be right up there. So like, you you know how the IBF does it. Number one and two are. Empty for the eliminators, and then three through fifteen. However, the I, however the Mr. Peoples and crew does it, they keep mixing them up. So if this was number eight versus number four, four getting knocked out. So obviously number eight. If if that's just the eliminator, if he's one of the two spots, who's going to get the other one, right? Who's going to get the other one? But if he has to get one more eliminator, I would love to see. Uh, do you figure he might have to go against, uh, I think he's Australian or New Zealand or something like that. The Samoan Jay Apati Lee. You know, untested, but hey, he's number three. You got you, you to gotta get, you got to get an eliminator, brother. Say hello to Sheshlak. Now, because number four is Yuri, he got knocked out. Number five, Tommy McCarthy, just victorious himself. Number six, David Light, another Australian. Number seven, David, I mean, Arthur Mann. That's who I would like to see him fight. A nice Polish and German, nice little battle right over there in that section of the world. I think that would do a great number, especially with crowds starting to come in around the world. I think that would be a nice fight. Then you got number nine, Fabio Turkey. You know, McCarthy beat him. Master Knack. Then you got number 11, Kevin Lorena, who's scheduled to fight uh, for the WBA regular against Murray. You got uh, Bala Lagoon. McCarthy beat him. Then you got number 13, Chris Bellum Smith. That's who McCarthy is scheduled to fight in the next coming up. Or his next fight. And you got at number 14 and 15. I don't see those guys getting in eliminators. So it's gonna be who who's gonna be that? I I hope it's because if it's not gonna be Michael, just go straight into number two. I hope he fights Arthur Man, but that's you know that's like that nice world fight. But hey, let let's see Ja Apostoli and Michael Sheshlak. That'd be a great eliminator. Let's hope this Tommy McCarthy and. Bellum Smith is eliminated. Get those two at one and two. And somehow Shishlak winner versus TBA. And 
McCarthy versus Bellum Smith. Those winner versus winner take on Breedis. If Breedis hasn't already fought um, a Coley, a Col- you know, Breedis is trying to cash out on some money because if he fights his mandatory and loses, there's no rematch. You know, so at least if he fights fucking a Coley and loses his belt, he could get a rematch. Try and get a, you know, some the most money or another title. Who do you think? Who do you think is going to be um, the showdown, the Eliminator showdown? Leave your comment down below. Mike, because Sheshlak is dangerous, he's the only cruiserweight out here I'm looking at that I feel can make some noise and do some troublesome because you know the WRT Boxing Show's franchise champion is Lawrence Okoli. Way before he became the WBO champion, he was the franchise champion right here on the WRT Boxing Show. And Richard Rakapor is out there, but he's not in the IBF. Not in the IBF, but he is. Let me see, where is Michael's number eight? By the no, wait, is he in the WBO, Michael? Number seven in the WBO. Richards number 14 that would be a great fucking fight damn I would love to see that fight but since he's, since he's already got an IBF uh, eliminator I, w- I wouldn't chase no other money fights I just focus on my title shot the double RT boxing show I'm your host Mr. A thank you for your support in the show thank you for your time leave a comment down below thank you